I think dangerous art is art that's inspiring. Uh, um, I personally don't think that that's dangerous, but I could see how secular society would find that to be very dangerous. So inspiring art. If you, art could be dangerous if you paint it on razor blades. No. Could art be dangerous? I guess you could say that, again, because it wields a power. Anything that wields a power could be dangerous, but again, it's gonna be who's following it, what's going on, I don't know. It's, it's gray. Dangerous artwork. Well, a lot of uh, dictators have thought there were dangerous, dangerous art. Uh, I don't. I think um, just like knowledge is important, I think art in all of its many forms are important. It, uh, it shows at least what one individual had on their mind and was thinking. What is dangerous art? Uh, anything can be dangerous. Now you never know. Um, I think, I don't know, it may, maybe something, I, something, you guess anything dangerous, I guess, would be, I mean, imagery that would kind of piss people off. Now, anything, I, me personally, I have um, people who are politically correct or uh, all sorts of people get, get pissy with me about some of my art, but it also at the same time, it kind of gives it the reverse effect that they're trying. It kind of makes more people pay attention to it, so. I don't know, I think dangerous art is maybe something that can change people's minds, make people think differently. Um, it's just one of those things that I don't, I don't know. You, somebody's gonna get pissed about something, so I don't know. I, my answer is it can be anything. I don't think there's such thing as <clears throat> dangerous art. I think there's dangerous propaganda. That's what I think. Uh, dangerous propaganda? Dangerous propaganda. Art uses propaganda in the wrong ways to lie or uh, enforce negative things that oppress other people. It's true. I guess what you were saying is how people are using art as a, what, like maybe an advertisement or something sure. to motivate people in different ways. And they're basically trying to take it under the gaze that this is cool and use it as some kind of peer directive thing or you're gonna be in the in crowd for doing it. And again, I don't know, I still think it's, it's, that's more tied into just mainstream media and generic stuff than real art, I think is, is, is more moving all that stuff along, you know, pop music. And if it's art, it's gonna be poppy. I don't know, I don't know, I guess it could bleed over. It's, it's weird to think about. I think that it has power to touch people it has power to say things that might be difficult to say with words. Um, it can stick in your mind for long periods of time and bubble back up again, just like soup, boiling soup. I think, uh, just ask a dictator what power art has. And even abstract art, which has a million different interpretations potentially, but they find that to be dangerous or objectionable or whatever, but um, we're all artists, I think, are holding up this mirror to society. Uh, that's kind of a hard one. Does artists have an obligation? I, to me, honestly, I don't think so. I, I think you can do whatever makes you happy, but um, on the other hand, I, I think a lot of people do have an obligation, especially if they're if they're well-known artists, maybe they can they can uh, spread a word about something, help somebody out. I... Um, us as street artists um, have definitely a young crowd that like looks up to us, and I think we have a lot more power than we actually know. Uh, so I think we do have you know sort of a responsibility to the message that we do that we put out. Um, we have a lot of power underneath our uh, fingertips. Uh -huh. I feel like if I can reach an, some people, like an audience about, uh, you know, money, my ideas about money or politics, uh, you know, or gentrification or whatever you want to call it, uh, 
you know, that is my obligation, I guess, to inspire other people. I, I think they look at it and think that it might sway people to think for themselves and to, to uh, not follow them and, and what they're thinking and wanting to have happen. But truly, I don't know all the answers. I'm still learning, but it's a scary time. A scary time. I'd like to tell artists of all stripes to be true to themselves, to think outside the box, to express themselves in any way that they, you know, if they don't do it, nobody will, just like they do. And so it's very important to right here and right now, speak up with your artwork and uh, don't stop.